into you. Close that body's eyes and pray like I pray every day, like it says in Matthew 8, 8. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. You could also say the longer form, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. And as you say roof, fill it as that head, fill it as your consciousness. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. What is that word? Ask him. I finally asked that question after many years, just a few days ago. And on Sunday, I heard Ephatha or Ephatha. That's Aramaic for be open. The Christ used that word in Mark 7 34. Be thou open to my plan, to my will, to my mercy, to my love. Can you open more right now? Can you feel more? In Ephesians, it says, I will give you more. And what you asked for, you just have to be patient and trust me. You have to stop trying to achieve right now and just breathe. Just relax, just feel me. Just know that I am here. That you can talk to me like a friend. Try it right now. Talk to me like I'm sitting right there in front of you, face to face, because I am. And speak to me not with formalities, not with formulas, but with your heart. Tell me what hurts. Tell me what you feel like you still can't surrender, what won't let go of you. But most important, tell me that you love me and that what you desire most is me. I desire for you to know that only love is here. Replace every prayer with this. Replace every worry with this. Replace every thought with this. Only love is here. Replace the words only love is here with the feeling only love is here. And abide. Abide. This is less of a prayer and more of a recognition, more of a gratitude for a relationship, a oneness, an identity that you had forgotten. I'm not sitting in front of you. You're not sitting either. We're not here as bodies. We're not we. I am that. I am. And in the silence that follows that, where are you? What are you? You are not which means your problems are not what you had been praying for is not what you're trying to surrender is not. The silence has taken it back. You are awake as me. Pat Nolan says the only way to abide as awareness is to realize I am awareness. The only way to get home is to realize I am home. All the methods and practices of the progressive path are the stepping stones of an illusory separate self. The direct path is the pathless path. It's to realize a journey of separation has never taken place. It is the way, my way, when you can abide as my word, when you can be open, when you can be love, when you can stay back out of the scene and let that body do what it does. I take over completely. Pray 10 times. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything, oh Jesus. I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything, oh Jesus. 
I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything, O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And now say it one more time, but without that last part. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. And be open, be that love that doesn't have anything to be taken care of. Surrender the one who's asking, who's begging, who's needing. Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Period. St. Faustina says, Lord, here is my soul and my body, my mind and my will, my heart and all my love. Direct me according to your eternal plan. Amen. There's nothing but his plan. Ask him, what is it that you want me to know and understand today? What is it that you want me to do today? That's Ishadas. There's nothing here but his love, which St. John says is the mother of all blessings, their root and their source. It's the end of wars and the extermination of strife. There's nothing left to do but to follow him. And the chosen Matthew says, my teacher makes life very simple. Every morning I wake up, my ideas and fears are jumbled up. I feel overwhelmed with doubt and regret, but if I just pause for a moment and remember, I have only one thing to do today. Follow him. The rest takes care of itself. Love takes care of itself. But you have to be love, not you. To see that protection, that help, that intercession in action. To see him take over. To take care of it. What are you still holding on to? Message me, email me, DM me, and know that as you're typing it, it's leaving. It never was. And that as I receive it, I give it to him. We give it to him. It's done. History has ended. Only his love is here. This openness is his heart. And it beats for you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.